representation of rate of change okay basically i divide uh, those things in a two parts so basically it's like a first is a chart and the second the representation of roc okay so we can uh, easily plot and we can you know uh, see that you know what that uh, at ease and can uh, you know analyze at ease so i'm gonna just uh, represent with that chart so let's get started so basically this uh, you know representation this chart is uh, basic i'm gonna continue more and more in an another tutorials so i'm just gonna set a basic here how i'm gonna represent uh, so as for like you know for chart representation for like you know some simple uh, chart representation you can follow this uh, code and can have those uh, charts okay so let's get started so i just start with fake equals fake equals figure dot plt fig size how much size i need okay so it will be like seven I just keep seven five or seven six whatever you want and then figure fig fig equals figure dot plot figure size okay here done then after that mm, how much where I have to plot you know height and width so i got i got to go according to that so i just say ax equals uh, what i'm plotting here i just have to plot the you know figure which i have to add subplots fig dot add underscore subplot which is of like uh, two one one so like it's a width and height of uh, that uh, representation of a chart which i want to watch so this is this will be the standard which i am referring for it and then i will say x dot set underscore tick labels okay tick labels which i'm gonna uh, so this is done here and then what I'm doing is like uh, I have to go for the plot plt plot of uh, uh, data data which is of which is of uh, close yeah which is of close and done here so plot here I am done with the data then I'll say uh, I need a title for it say I will say ns e n s e price chart basically which I am like you know extracting this NSC chart so I just need this one say so NSC price chart and then close this one and then uh, sorry price chart and then next is of uh, I need a Y label label which is of uh, uh, for representation of those states so I need a label for that I will say here this is of uh, close price so close price then and then uh, those representation are in like you know rows and columns which I want so for visualization I need so I will say yeah I need that so I'll say true great true yeah it's uh, done for the first yeah and then I'll go for the second plot second subplot so I will say figure okay, so figure dot add 
underscore subplot of two one and two. So here I have just uh, you know done with this one, and then next I'm gonna uh, plot for this one. So PLT plot, which is of uh, ROC and uh, K and line width I need here uh, 0.75. Okay, so just and this representation I forgot something so just add this one it should be in a like you know solid brackets and uh, yeah plot and this uh, line width uh, which I've closed which I, I need is like one so the graph which I represent them it should be in a uh, I'll say line width okay so basically I'm representation in one so I can visually was in a simple graph and for this ROC just 0.75 is enough and then I need a line style which of line style was um, wait a minute just make it up here so it is visually visible for you say 0.75 and then after the line style uh, sorry, what I'm doing here is of this, and then label I just say ROC, then done here, and then uh, what I need is like uh, Y label, say Y label, which is of. Uh, ROC values okay ROC values so just close this one so here uh, I think I'm done here uh, then I need a grid to represent in a thousand columns so I need a grid and I will say two for it and then next uh, I just need a have to need the set P so which is of get dot mm, dot uh, no it's not get it's a plot dot GCA and dot get underscore X tick labels X tick labels and of what I need okay done here so X uh, here I'm doing stuck here X tick labels so I want here and uh, I, how much rotation I need is of 30 that's it done here and I will say please show me everything ok so I am done here let's check do I have done some more somewhere mistake so so well so fine now um, see values um, Okay, one more thing is I have to add those uh, ROC what I have to represent then in this uh, by side those name that should be I have to do and you know that is this is of ROC I have to say so for that I need in location 2 and which is of property I need of a size and it should be then and here I am done ok so I think so far so good um, yeah so far so good plt dot figure done now 
what ax dot to run check okay okay done here let's go once again i think i should get now yeah okay so guys as you can see the roc has been like you know plotted so i have taken like this so as you can see this a uh, zero baseline above which of like you know trading if it is like beyond uh, five or something then definitely a bullish price or something and zero baseline above that as you can see the representation is of like a uh, bull sign and below zero is if you can see a uh, sell so basic uh, representation i have seen the zero line base and from this we can exactly get to know about this uh, whether we have to buy or sell with the help of uh, bullish signal and bearish signal we get to know about okay thank you guys thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt feel free to comment uh, uh, i'm definitely going to resolve uh, your problem and uh, thank you